All right, so bookshop problem from the CCS problem set. So this is another dynamic programming question uh, as it is in the dynamic programming category. And after reading the instruction, the first thing we need to notice is that the this number X, so which is the maximum number of, uh, which is the maximum total price that we can have. So how much money we can spend in buying books uh, is only up until 10 to the power of five. So that's 100,000, uh, that's 100,000, right? So if we were to find a solution, uh, like intuitively before we even define the solution, we can see that a complexity of O n times X uh, would give us 1,000 times 100,000, that's 10 to the power of eight, that's 100 million. And that will be sufficient uh, to, uh, to, to produce a solution that uh, runs below this uh, time limit, right? So our next task is to, okay, we have this intuition that the solution will be O n times x, uh, but um, the, the, main, the main part of this task is to define this, the subproblem is essentially the DP uh, subproblem, right? And what we can notice is that we can find the solution for a subset of books. And then with one more book, we can, with one more book added into our solution, we can calculate uh, the best solution, including that book, right? And why is that true? We are gonna, we can visualize here. So first of all, let's define the axis, uh, the axis of our uh, DP uh, array. It's going to be a 2D array. So in the first, uh, in, in the columns, we can have uh, the amount of money we already spent. So let's just make this parallel to the to the axis, and on the uh, vertical axis, uh, so on, on the rows of our table, we can have uh, index of the book, uh, uh, index of the book uh, that we up until up up until which we have used books to produce the result, right? Let me just make this. We have used books, oh. Uh, okay, let me just move this, come on. There we go. Oh, that's too big. Uh, let's just make it like this, boom index of the book up until which we have used books to produce the result. And now we can draw this uh, array and draw the various squares that we have here. So for each sub problem, which other sub problems do we care about? So for each certain sub problem, let's say that we're looking at this sub problem here, um, the amount of money we spent until this point is J, right? We have spent J, uh, so we're gonna use J for this. Uh, and let's use, let's use I for this, uh, for the rows and J for the columns, right? Uh, so for this sub problem here, let's say we're trying to solve this sub problem. So we can either take the solution that we have from, from before. So that is, we are not using this book here. So, uh, this, this, this arrow represents uh, not using, uh, actually let's just call it skip. So we skip using uh, book I. So this, this coordinate here is, let's say DPI. So DP I J. So by just taking uh, the previous one, which is uh, this solution here is uh, dp i minus one and the column is the same. So dp i minus one j uh, is this solution and we're using this solution. Uh, that means that we are not going to use our book. So the, the total amount of money we spent still remains j, so it's the same. And it's, it's a solid, it's a valid solution for um, for having um, when incrementing our subproblem uh, and including this book into our solution, right? In including 
including going through this book, not necessarily buying it, but going through this book. Uh, that means we had that book as an option uh, into our solution, right? So the other solution is to use this book. Okay, so if we're gonna use this book, it means that there is a certain price tied to this uh, book. Uh, that price is SI, okay? As we have, as we see in the instruction here, uh, so, sorry, HI, not SI, SI is the number of pages. So HI, and so, so, so this HI, this price, must be subtracted from the current amount of money that we spend, right? So we're going to look at, let's say that HI equals to two. So we're going to use uh, this subproblem. So this subproblem here, uh, which is going to be equal to J minus HI, right? Uh, so, so the solution we had up until the previous book and which was spending HI less, uh, um, less money will be utilized to include this book um, and spend uh, more money, right? And how much more money are we gonna spend? And that is H HI, right? The price for that book. And to that solution, we're going to also add, like what are we gaining by buying this book I, right? What we are gaining is that it gives us uh, SI pages, right? So the gain uh, here is SI. So DP I and J can be equal to the minimum of the previous one, right? And the other case is this case that we have uh, we have um, uh, just described, which is HI less uh, money spent. What is this, what is the best solution for that? Uh, if HI is greater than J then we cannot buy, we cannot purchase the book uh, and utilize any previous solution, right? Uh, so in that case, we cannot use this solution. We can only use the solution above uh, our current uh, box. So to write down the definition here, uh, let me just uh, write this with text. So essentially, the definition here will be uh, minimum, sorry, maximum, because we need to have as many pages as possible uh, of what, of dp i minus one. So not using this book is the same as uh, using up until one index before this book. And the other is i minus one and then j minus the price for this book, HI, right? And we also gain uh, SI pages to our solution. So that's the, this is the, the relation we, that we are searching for. Okay, it fits here, okay. So that's the relation we were searching for, right? So let's go ahead and develop this uh, or look at the implementation rather. So uh, in the implementation for this, we just, instead of having here n rows, so uh, we know we can have n rows for one for each book, uh, but uh, 100, uh, million, um, 100 million integers, uh, that would, let's see. So we have 1,000 books and uh, 100,000 uh, is the total price, the maximum price we can have. That's 100,000 integers. So four bytes, uh, so, sorry, that's, that's 100 million integers. So 400 million uh, bytes, uh, that's, that should fit into the memory limit here unless I'm not accounting for uh, uh, something else here. Um, the maximum number we can have is uh, let's say that for each, that, that we used every book and every book had the maximum amount, that's uh, 1 million, which fits into an integer, which should be 
uh, enough for our uh, solution. If if we are allowed to declare 400 megabytes outside, like in the global space, um, I, I haven't tried this. You can go ahead and try this. Uh, what I tried is the optimized version, which has uses only two rows. So uh, we can only we only need the previous. We only if we look at the diagram here that we have drawn, we only need the previous row. Uh, like for, for this, if if we are in this row here, if I is this uh, looking at going through this row here. Uh, we only need the previous row to calculate the answer for any uh, sub problem in this in the green row in the in the current row essentially, right? So uh, yeah, we just have two rows and we go up until one hundred thousand. So he's here. Here I'm using uh, one base indexing. That's why I have this extra one here. And then the same goes for the books. Uh, we have at the most one thousand books. So one thousand and one uh, spaces integers for. HRA, so the HRA and the SRA, as they are described in the description, we read in N and X, and then we read uh, uh, all of the H values, so the uh, price of each book, and then SI, the page, the, the number of pages each book has. Then we go through the books, so from, so this is the rows of the, our DP essentially, so from the first book up until the nth book, so the last book, what are, what are we gonna do? Is we're gonna check uh, throughout through all the prices. So remember, this is the amount of money we'll spend. So this J, um, we, we this J index will showcase how much money we spent, we have spent so far. And uh, so we begin from no money. So that we spend no money, and up until X, which is the maximum that we can spend, right? And what do we do? Is the first case is we, is we take the same result as we had before, right? This array is initialized with zero. So initially we have zero pages for for using no books, right? If you use no books, the solution to each sub problem is going to be zero pages essentially. Um, so uh, for every current sub problem, we use this module two to refer to the current sub problem. Uh, I modules two refers to the current sub problem. I plus one uh, modules module two will refer to the previous one, right? So the previous row essentially. Uh, this is the little trick you can use with module two for DP memory optimization, right? So this is equal to the previous initially is what we say, yeah. So this is the default solution we can use, which as we have seen is just using the same solution uh, without using this book, okay? So discarding this book, skipping using this book for sure. And the other solution we can use is to utilize this book, then we should be able to pay this price for this book. So if J, which is the total amount of money that we have spent, minus the price of the book is greater or equal to zero, so we can buy essentially this book. Uh, if we can buy this book, what are we looking at uh, to update the solution for our sub problem? We are looking at the current result we have, which is essentially the previous one, and uh, the the result that includes using that book. And this result is in the previous row, we just go to column J minus HI. As we have seen here, we just jump HI, uh, HI positions to the left, HI columns to the left essentially. And in this case, like I assume that H, HI equals to two, so we have jumped two positions to the left, right? So we're jumping uh, that many positions to the left, and the result we have for this sub problem, we are going to uh, reutilize, um, but this time we are also going to add SI. So if we are gonna buy this book, we are also adding to our result the number of pages that it contributes, right? And we choose the maximum of the two cases. So either we don't use the book or we use the book, right? And at the end of the day, we output uh, up until the maximum price that we can spend uh, for n, right? And again, again, I'm using module two to refer to the to the correct row essentially. So dp uh, n modules two x will give us the result when we uh, have considered using all n books, and we have used uh, a maximum price of x um, for, for for constructing that solution, right? So 
that's pretty much the solution to this DP problem. It's a 2D DP. Uh, the first, uh, I think after grid paths, this is the other, uh, the second 2D uh, DP problem, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you got stuck on the problem and this video helped you, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.